Hi, I'm with the Urban Craft Center, and today we're going to show you how to make one of our mini felt kits. And this one here is the Little Orange Charm Felt Kit. And you can find these, you can pick these up at some of the craft fairs that we go to, such as Felt Club, which happened on November 16th. And also you can find them at our shop in Santa Monica. We're located on 2433 Main Street and we are inside the Edgemar building. So the first thing you want to do is to find a little piece of foam. It can be any size as long as you have enough to work with for your felting. And you can just get any piece of foam or you can use some kitchen sponge or if you have a uh, Tempur-Pedic pillow that could work too. But we also have these foams for sale at our shop in Santa Monica. So after you have your foam, you can open up your kit, and there's a couple of things in here, and there's a needle in here too, so you want to be careful when you take this out. <clears throat> and this one is packaged in this red tubing, so you can just carefully pull that out. And there's also some text instructions in case you want to read it in more detail. And this is a for needle felting, you have a special needle that has uh, there are some barbed teeth that are going in that direction. So what it does is when you are felting, it the barbs on the needle will push the felt into itself. It'll push all the felt into itself until it becomes really dense and compact. And so that's how needle felting works. So you pull your finger this way, it feels really smooth, but if you go the other way around, you can feel the teeth going against your skin. And the point is really, really sharp, so you really have to be careful when you are felting. <clears throat> so, the first thing you want to do is work on the orange body. And here, it's it was one ball, and I kind of just pulled it apart into two. So if you look at this, it's really just a round sphere. So. You can just grab a little ball of this and kind of roll it up, scrunch it up a little bit, and place it on your foam pad, and then start needle felting it by taking your needle and just poking, poking the, the wool up and down onto your foam. And you have to wash your fingers because if you do stab yourself, it is pretty painful and it can cause you to bleed. So just keep doing that, and you want to kind of hold it into shape and rotate it around. And you can start seeing that the wool is starting to take shape. It's not this one fluffy poof anymore, and it's a little bit more solid. So here it's really tall, so I'm going to poke it down and you really have to be careful with your fingers if there are any bits that are sticking out all you have to do is use your needle and poke it down until it's nice and smooth all these bits here and it's really best to keep this up and down motion because then you can make sure that the needle is only hitting the foam and nothing else. So see it's already starting to look like a ball. <clears throat> and you don't need to use that much force because if you use too much force, you can accidentally break the needle, and if the needle ever breaks, and if the broken needle is trapped inside your, your needle felted form, you have to throw the form away because the needle is really, really sharp, and it can slide out after you play around with this some, and it will hurt you. So you see, this is this is really looking like a sphere now. 
And if you're not happy with the size, if you want it to be bigger, for example, then you can just grab a little bit more of that that orange wool that we had before and kind of wrap it around wrap it around the shape and then just poke it in <clears throat> get all those loose bits in there doing this over and over again until you are happy with the shape that you have. And the more you poke it, the more dense your form will become and the smaller it will become too. And how dense you want it is really just dependent on your style. Some people like to make their their figures really really dense and really really solid. And some people like kind of loose and fluffy fluffy shapes and that's fine too. It's really just how you want it. And once you kind of get to the end of your poking, you want to try not to stab it so far in, so deep because then you'll create really big holes and it's kind of hard to get rid of those if you are stabbing too too hard into the shape. Just use the little tip of your needle and just smooth out your whole shape. Okay, so we kind of have a ball now. So now let's set this aside. 